Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight, and this just isn't a car build video. I mean, it is a car build video, and we're going to go up Chiliad, but this is a trip down memory lane. I've got my my old Technoglass photo album out here, all the, the photos I used to, well, all the photos, I'm still looking for a couple. I still can't find the pictures of the turkey heads that was that were around the lightning rods. That was a whole, that's a whole other story, but the pictures I have found some of them are of a car you see there was a good friend of mine now let's let's cut to the chase on buying the car because that takes some time and this will fill in the the time while we're waiting for it where is it is it on legendary of course it is the anis euros x32 in the analog icon anis euros x32 shifted to reverse and returned to the glory days of the 20th century when beepers were high-tech and foreplay was optional. This V6-powered sports car represents our culture's last grasp on a time before AI came for your job and social media algorithms came for your free will. No catfishing here, just precisely what's advertised. Speed, style, and a rev heard around the world. And a glorious return to the final moments before everything went to hell. Oh my goodness, that's, that's really perfect. That totally fits the mood for what I'm doing. Um, we're going to go white just because it's going to be gray. And order it. And where are we? The only place it can go at this point, I believe, is the agency. Down the last couple of spots. So let me tell you a story. I, I used to work with a guy named Terry Ogle. Hi, Terry. I hope you're seeing this. Terry is a cool guy. He really, you know, absolutely fun to talk to, great sense of humor, very smart engineer. He's a good guy. And we worked together back in the 90s, before, oh, some of you were even born. We worked at a place called Technoglass that used to make television screens for the old cathode ray tube style televisions. You ask your parents about what they were. And... At the time when it, when, I, when we first met, when we first started working, he was driving an 88 uh, 300ZX Turbo. Nice car. It was a burgundy kind of car, as I recall. Burgundy or like a, a, a rust brown. Very Not rusty, but I mean, it was just like that color. Very nice car. And he was dating this girl. But side note, uh, he was dating this girl. And he told me a story about her, uh, her landlord apparently uh was who was a, apparently a, a you know i don't want to disparage the guy online we'll just let's let that part of the story go um well i mean the story itself disparages him he's apparently at a friend's house the friend had a pet cobra so th there's already like a lot of imagery going on here and the guy's playing with the cobra and it bites him and when uh when he said hey you have to go to the hospital he goes yeah i'm a man i could take it and then he went drinking which Cobra Venom kind of simulates being drunk. And uh, so uh, the guy died. Now, the, the, I tell this story because Terry told me this story. And then like two years later, I, I got for Christmas. Oh, Panker sent me a multiplayer. Well, let's do that too. I could do th two things at once here, I think. I get for Christmas the, uh, the Darwin Award book. And this guy was in it. That whole story was told. It said unconfirmed by Darwin. I'm like, I can confirm that because I heard this story when it happened. Uh, but anyway, while he was dating this girl, and I don't know what happened to them because it's been 30 years. Uh, did they marry? Did they not marry? I don't know. But he, they, they were going to meet up. She was going to come over to his house. And he said, oh, well, I'll come over. I'll meet you halfway. I'll, you can follow me back. They're just being cute and romantic. You know, that kind of thing. The way you were when you were young is all cool. And while she's following him back, a drunk driver T-bones him so hard in the driver's side door that it flips the car on its side and then follows on and drives him into a stone wall. Now, he was very lucky, and you know, God was with him, and he ended up with, I think, just like a, a slightly broken foot. Uh, and then he got enough insurance money to buy a 1990, because it was totaled, oh, it was completely destroyed. He was heartbroken. But he found a 1990 
300 ZX. It looked very much like this. It was a twin turbo that had been owned by uh, some sort of Olympian, like an American Olymp you know, medalist or something like that. And let me, let me uh, do the time warp again here a little bit. Okay, it looks like we're doing this with the Pankro. We're bringing them in. He should be around here someplace. There he is. Yeah, I mean, Jill walk up. So this is the car he got. That, you know, this is what we're going for. The twin turbo that he built and drove after that. Bumper panel. It didn't have a bumper. What's the bumper panel? Now I've got pictures. No, it had. Yeah, I think it did have that. Okay. It's hard to tell because it was a dark gray. Chrome white panel. I think so. I don't think it was chrome. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was the black light panel. I don't remember any chrome on that sucker. Come on, I'm hitting the wrong button. Back. Engine, rev it up. His is a, his was apparently good for 175. And I thought I have a picture of the back. Booga booga. His. Hey, what are the stock ones? No, no, his definitely, yeah, his had the doubles. Nice. Uh, let's see, hit the double, double small boards look like what it was. The wheels are a little bit off, but we can, we can maybe find something that Flip the page back to the front. I, I took a whole bunch of pictures when this came back for reasons. That's pretty close. Stock grill. His had kind of a little bit of a fin going on in the actual grill itself. Yeah, nothing, nothing chrome. Let's just go with black to hood. Stock hood looks right. We can we can we can go through them just to show you the options. Which there are many, but we're we're leaving it so it looks like his lights. Uh, he would not have had xenons in this, I don't think. But we'll give it the neon layout just to just to livery. We're not giving it a livery unless it has some some nice uh, just a light pinstriping. Just because it did have a little bit of a pinstripe, but nothing like this. Louvers, I don't believe it had louvers. Flipping again. Nope, no louvers. A lot of louvers. That's not a bad thing, it's just, you know, a rear diffuser. Did it have a rear diffuser? I don't think so. But we will look. Um, it had kind of a little something. Hard to see. Let's turn this so we can look. Something like that might not be too far off. It wasn't really now. It was. It was smaller than that. It's hold on. Rear bumper with small cutouts, no, but that it wasn't exactly like that either. But there was a little something. Let's go with let's go with a little something. Respray, primary, metallic. Let's just see black steel in these pictures, black steel is pretty close. Midnight Silver, Midnight Silver might be 
That's pretty darn close. With a pearlescent shadow silver, yeah, I think that's fine. Secondary color, I don't even know if this. Did he, we really didn't do those back then. Just match them up. Side louvers? I don't think he had side louvers. No, he didn't have side louvers. No side louvers. Skirts. He didn't have skirts. Not really, you know? Nothing, nothing like that. No, he said it was low enough. It didn't really need splitters. No, we're not doing any splitters. Didn't have it. The front match is pretty close right there. Spoiler, now I, I want to keep it that way. I might actually have to do without a performance increase here because the stock looks exactly like his. And we're, it's an, it's, it's, we, if we can do a true homage, we'll do it. Suspension. I'm going to actually try and match his right height. Actually, stock looks about right there. And he was a stock car. He had seen 175, according to the, the Olympic person. To my knowledge, he got to 145. Somewhere in Maryland, and then ran out of road. Let's see. Stock rims, they weren't chromed. I don't think anything is really going to match. Let's look at tuners. I mean, it's a very 90s wheel. I mean, that's the streets. That's not... They're very, very round. We might leave them stock just because nothing really catches the eye. Um, high end? I don't think so. I mean, I don't think high end's gonna cover it. They're all very edgy. Low rider. I don't think so. Nothing's coming to mind. That's all we did. SUV? Sometimes the SUVs come out, you know, nowhere with something that works. But not this time. We're leaving them stock. That doesn't quite match, but it's closer than anything else. Windows. Um, I don't think he had any smoke on his windows. Maybe. Let's go light smoke just because. It's what we do. Again, we're having a little bit of a handling deficit from the max for this car because it had to look like Terry's. It just had to. This doesn't feel like it, it's missing it. How does me throwing it around? Okay, let's let's give Panker the invite. Play jobs. My job, I always go down there, I don't really have to. But... I'm gonna go read a stat house, I'm gonna go right time this time, try this time trial real quick. Okay, so he's trying, he's trying to do a time trial. I don't think any of that came up while I was, I was doing it. It's for crack. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think they did. This will give us a time to, to get a little look at this at the, the Terry Ogle special. Didn't know there was a car there. Let's see, do I have any room in the arcade? I mean, I'm looking for parking anywhere. I don't think I have any. Nope. He, now, when he did the, um, the time trial, no, he's still in session, okay. He's still time trialing. Okay, let's do the time warp again here. That's, oh, I could tell you the hail story. So back in... Well, I want to say what year was it? It had to be like 96 or so. We had some really heavy storms in the area. I can't remember if that was the year we had the tornadoes. I think it might have been the year we had the tornadoes. It was like, we never got tornadoes. And this year we had tornadoes. That is. And he didn't want anything. He was going out, but he didn't want anything to happen to the car. So he left it home. And he took yet an, an old... Uh, this will not go up on that curb. He had, he had an older Ford Ranger, you know, that was his, his beater vehicle. So he took the Ford Ranger. And where he was with the Ford Ranger, it was fine. Where the car was parked, they got like golf ball size hail. Like it was an unbelievable thunderhead hit it. And it tur turned the car into a golf ball. It was like, it was some massive hail. I don't remember what size exactly, but I remember the car looked like it completely peppered this car. And so the insurance paid for it, and he, he took the car to a to a guy to do it and the guy did a beautiful job he, not only did he fix all the dents but he he repainted and reblended some of the the faded paint that was on it so the car looked new i'm getting a delay on his messages i'm getting them two at a time and so he has the car a week later He's driving it, got the girlfriend in the car, he's at a stoplight, and there's there's some fire truck activity to to his to his right. Fireman tells him to stop where he's at. And he's guiding this fire truck to back up. Instead of backing up straight, the the, the fire truck curves and it's head straight for his girlfriend's head. Cause he's he, it's a it's a low car. Yep. Interested? So he slams the sucker into reverse and floors it, and and he, he, it misses his girlfriend. But the the uh, the truck fender hooks inside the front fender of the car. The cook, the truck bumper hooks inside the bumper of the car and rips the fender off the car completely, and then. The um, then the guy who's guiding it jumps on the truck and they hit and run him. Like the fire, the, 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 he's like, "What the heck happened here?" Now, luckily, there's a lot of witnesses. There was a police officer nearby, and the police officer gets on the radio and is like, "Hey, did you did you guys just uh, you know rip the fender off a sports car?" Oh, Smitty was driving. You're teaching Smitty to drive. Oh, that's just wonderful. So apparently they're teaching some guy to drive, and he ripped the fender off the car. And the the officer apologized, but he informed him that in the state of Pennsylvania, because because of the way the laws are structured, emergency vehicles do not need to pay your insurance. They don't need to pay for damages that they do. They're you know absolved from all of that. And, uh, but they'll, as a courtesy, they'll pay your deductible, but you have to put it on your own insurance. Now, I think in retrospect, that might only count if they're on an emergency call, but I 
I don't know. It's 30 years ago. It doesn't really matter. So they paid for his deductible, but he took it back to the same guy who was like, I just did all this work on this car. It was beautiful. What happened? And so, but they did the work again. And as far as I know, nothing else happened. No, what happened here? What happened here? Well, I can't, I can't see what I'm doing. Some car has pulled up on me. That's where it is. I was, I've never seen that happen again. My jobs. He's, he's, he's too quick on the th thing. I'm gonna turn off the, uh, I'm gonna turn off the, uh, traffic off. So that doesn't happen again. Confirm settings. My friends, the Pankro. See if he comes in here, or if he's too confused and annoyed, or if he even gets the invite. It's inviting. Is he in? My friends, come on. We're just cursed with this stuff. We really are. What other, let's see, what other stories can I tell? Um, he used to drive the car real fast until one day he was going across one of the bridges in Wilkesbury at like a buck twenty. And uh, he hit a skunk. What, he got, he got dumped completely? And the car was airborne for an excessively disturbing period of time, going up on a, uh, coming up on a curve. And uh, it landed at like speed just before the curve. And luckily the thing had four wheel steering and active suspension and four wheel steering. And he just barely gets through this curve, you know, hugging the roads, tires squealing. And he decided never to do that again. Alrighty, I think at least I think that's what happened. Jobs. No, not quick John. Play job. Buy jobs. Races the chili and hot lap root. It's the chili and hot lap root. Chili out, chili out, chili out, chili out. Hot lap root. Point to point GTA Sports Nooner Clear None Because we're trying to do something here. Additional options. Turn off the slipstream. Confirm settings. My friends. From the friends list. The Pank Bro Jones. Play on as soon as it goes green. 
rejected. No. Blocked. Hello. Are we in session? Yes, I'd like to make a reservation for one, please. Uh, I saw on the internet you said it was all you can eat. Now, just to warn you, I can eat quite a bit. I don't want any dirty looks when I go back to the Okay, try again. Online, jabs. Play jobs, my jobs, the races, the Chilean hot labyrinth, the Chilean hot labyrinth. Um, it's only a matter of time before like real life interrupts me. It's uh, it's just hitting nine o'clock on a Sunday. Noon. Clear traffic. Off. Confirm settings. You get the slipstream. It won't come into play. My friends. Invited. Joining. Okay, that's what we wanted to see. Ah. That's not a sports classic, is it? Are we still with them? This is just cursed. Is this a sports classic? It's a coupe. All right, let's 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 just see if we can just do the job again. How is this a coupe? I I don't understand anything. Racist, chilly at hot lap rope. Let's see if we can just do the invite thing without actually go joining the same. He's invited. Make sure it's all right. This is glitched. Now let me. This found out the coop. It should be the fastest coupe. I should bet on them, but there's only the two of us, so.
All right. I don't make up the names. Okay, we're doing this. I'm taking the jump. Mostly for humor's sake. Okay. I was too far to the left. I kind of knew I was too far to the left. Now that wasn't good. When I did it. When I got about here, I'm like, this is too far over. I don't think, ooh, I'm stunting out this one. I don't think this is the new fastest coupe. I think it's a good coupe race, but I don't think it's the new fastest. I'm a race with it just uh, at some point when I'm not necessarily looking for a win. So far, I can't really complain about the handling character. Maybe in a second I will. Let's see how it does. Coupe is not necessarily the greatest hill climber. It's rear wheel drive if it fits the old, uh, the old template of the car. I don't think he was, he was a four wheel drive. I think it's four wheel steer and active suspension. This feels good, but not overpoweringly good. I'm a little nervous here. Come on, baby. Oh, this is a come on, baby. All right, we made it this far. Pankrow is. I say he's gone, but I think he slid off the side over here. Looking at the map, that's. Oh, he's making it back up. Okay. So the car can recover. But so maybe he's just waiting for me. I don't know. Like, I would not call this a, a, a chili eyed car that gives you massive amounts of confidence. I feel like I can get this stuff. Just a feeling. I mean, it is pulling. I had to brake there so I didn't yeet it. Yeah, let's see how well it does here. We'll let it fall back down. Oh, not all that right down. Ooh. Two brakes. I wonder if he'll send it the full yeet, the full 
the full send the new the RBS. I actually don't even remember how to do it because I've never had any success with it, so I stopped doing it. It is. It will. It will lose the tail a little. But I mean, I'm not giving it the best place to race here. This is not its environment. This is not an off-roader by any stretch. It's a frisbee now. It's a real frisbee now. Yeah, I've been blowing them up on these on these runs as a way. Hopefully I don't do this now. I don't imagine this thing is like the king of armor. Especially with a glass top. I don't have to look at this. I'm not looking at pictures right now, but I don't know if that's accurate. Breaks, 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 breaks. Uh, I have the traffic here now, so I think that turns off the train. We're gonna find out. I think it turns off the train. Pancro's gonna win this as he always does. But as far as the, you know, going up chilly, I, yep, not a problem. I can't say I'm missing the grip of the advanced spoiler too much either. I mean, Pretty good for the base stats on the car's handling. Of course, I'm primarily doing it for the look, so. Terry, if you see this, I hope you're doing well, my friend. realize this is the, on the base black night channel if he finds this they're like who the heck Terry look in look in the uh, in the description at the other channels that'll that'll solve the mystery who's talking about your car I have no idea even if my voice still sounds the same as it did 30 years ago you know might be a little deeper or something I don't know I think probably this was more like 28 years ago. I think I started there in 94, which would have been exactly 30 years ago. That's the jump. He came, I think, he came to the uh, the crew, I think, a year or two later. I think 96 ish. Find a, a Terry Ogle picture in the book. Someplace. Must be. And Tanker awaited. All righty. Made sure I could finish. Oh, that was that was an epic slide going through there. And we'll dump it to free mode. Hopefully we end up in the same session. Room, room. This really does look pretty darn close. what he had. I'm only ever in this car once. We're going down to Cooper's and Wilkesbury. That's pretty much why 
And it's a twin turbo. It's a twin turbo, just like Terry's. I don't know if that's what his engine looks like, but those are two turbos. They were true to it. I miss him. He's a good guy to hang out with. Good guy to work with. Haven't seen him since probably 99. Haven't seen him this century. Is the Pankro Jones in session? Of course not. Probably some function of me being an invite only to begin with. And there's a multiplayer invite. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to call this one good. This is your Black Knight. Hi, Terry. Have a great night.